Okay, so. Powers unseen, uncover my path. Silly fight we just won. Kinda e. Eh. Trying to get out of here, right? We're pretty much done. As far as I know, we're done here. Although, what's with this? This looks like a secret area or something. We didn't find any secret walls, though. Oops. So there's a nice little gap in the wall so you can see through it, but there's no doors that I've seen. It's down here. No, oh, hear that. Let's go see what we can say. I thought we'd been down here though. Not sure I want to do another fight though. Simply because the warp degradation here is really bad at the moment. That's why we're seeing little ghosts and stuff walking around. Oh, Let me just run through a trap. So this is nice. These traps have uh, weren't here when we came through the first time. But apparently we're running into them because I'm not paying attention. Okay, we won't talk about how disarm this trap is back there, but... Never doubt me. So we've walked through a trap, so everybody's hurt now because I'm not paying attention. Stomach turning bloody smears in the wall. I've seen that. The world trembles beneath my feet. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. So another trap. I swear I disarmed these traps before. I could have swore I did strong these traps. Sins hidden in the heart turn all to decay. See all those little ghost like figures? That's uh, the warp degradation, which means using psychic powers. Let it be the road that a little we dangerous. Should have been accomplished easily. So not only can she not shoot anything, she can't disarm traps either. This is going well. What is it, rogue trader? You're somebody, would you? The formidable looking door blocks the way into the next module. It is covered in scratches as if someone clawed um, at the cold metal for a very, very long time. The door does not respond to your touch and stands uh, fast, refusing to open. The writing above the doorway reads, Main Computing Cathedral. Pascal, the tech priest, blesses himself with the protective symbol, his hand visibly shaking. Shield us, O machine god, from the evil that has taken hold of your temple. Save us, preserve us from the corruption, show us the way. Sacred metal of the bars, our path is weakened. Let us appeal to the machine spirit of one of the generators so the metal can be drink from its blessed energies. It should be, uh, there should be one hidden somewhere in this module. What is this evil you mentioned? Tech Priest says nothing for a while, then his vox comes to life, but the voice is hoarse, punctuated with static and interference. Omnissiah knows all, comprehends all. I am merely his servant. I cannot discern uh, what has stricken the abode of the machine god, but I do sense a distortion of the structure, disfigurement of the molecular mo Hello, Gibby. It is time to take a break. The ship is sick. Go get some more water while you are up. We've read this before. Your next break is in one hour. Uh, when, once you turn it on, you should be able to proceed. The door in the entire adjacent section of the bay have no power. Store power. Problem solved. Oh, we're not taking a break. What a Cuz. We just did take a break because we missed our first break. <laughs> that would have been our second break. Q. 
camera. Ah, do I want to do another fight? From the rage of the beast, iron protect us. Temptations of the flesh slice silica cleanse us. Headhunters like carabus. So it is base armor property. Plus awareness divided by ten percent to dodge. Awareness divided by ten percent to dodge. So it's light armor. Give me this light armor. His awareness is at 40. So that would be 4%. Right? It's not a big jump there. Fan of the Sister of Battle, how's it sound? Sure, it sounds great. I can't rename characters, though. <laughs> so... Light improved body gloves. That's the improvement for him. His awareness is crappy, so that's not a good thing for him. Awareness. 85. And if they have that roguelike DLC for a Rogue Trader, like. And, well, hopefully they come up with something like that. That might be interesting to see what they come up with. So this would actually be better for her because that uh, plus 5% dodge. Agility is more than 40. Because this one, if it's 40, it's only plus 4%. The armor is still better. Let's keep the word in there. And we'll get this one. Sin skin is better still for you. So we got it. So, yeah, we're good. The others are wearing just. Oh, he's not even wearing armor. Where is it? The holy vestment. Logic divided by 10. Oh, sorry, increase the armor versus logic divided by 10. This logic is currently 60. So that's 6% 6 more armor, right? And two times reject the flesh rank. I don't know what reject the flesh, flesh rank is. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Stuff. Embrace true power. I've seen a lot of innocent people. I've yet to see someone remain so after an interrogation. 
tread a path unexplored. He goes Tiberius Mama. The air in the room is permeated by a wild mixture of miasma of both mechanical and biological origin. Blood, rust, vomit, machine oil, excrement, kerosene. All these smells blend together in such a thick stench that it almost feels palpable. Palpable. This is the air. Uh, here is one mad tangle of odor odors. The device in front of you is a mismatch of wriggling wires and transplanted fragments. In all the clutter, one could almost miss the main component. Quotes. A heavily augmented man whose upper body is embedded into the frame of the machine, dozens of wires piercing his flesh. A crust of uh, congealed blood and other bodily fluids covers the man's entire body, but his eyes are open and his gaze is keen. His gaze is turned to you, devoid of surprise or deference. Who are you, disturbing the peace of holy martyrs and the home of our grief? What do you want? The symbols your brethren protect themselves with are symbols of chaos. Your knowledge is lacking, Invader. Those are secret holy symbols imparted to us by the Messiah. How else would my tech comrades have survived, if not for their protection? So many of us were devoured by evil. He falls silent, as if lost in thought. Dogmatic. There is no fate more honorable than pur uh, purgation through suffering in the name of the faith. But you were deceived, servant of El Messiah. Of El Messiah, your torment is not holding back the corruption and sustaining it. It is not too late to expel this light. My dogmatic. The man's eyes clear for a moment. They still lack understanding, but are, there's a hint of surprise. He slowly looks around the room at the ecsta ecstatic priest at his own uh, mangled body. His vox hisses as if he's struggling to say something. You begin conviction of faith, effect of effect for permanent. Grants one hundred plus one hundred percent critical hit chance until the next critical hit is scored. For permanent? So that means all the time? Does he just crit everything? I mean I don't understand how that's gonna work. What does permanent mean in this case? For permanent. I don't know what that is. Suddenly, the mingled stench in the room is drowned out by the sharp, piercing smell of ozone and grease. You sense that the nauseating atmosphere that prevailed in the room has condensed into a single point of evil in the depths of the ship and is now hurtling towards you. This is go well. Oh, I remember this now from Beta. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the fight we can't win. Just point that out right now. <laughs> pretty sure this is a fight we don't win. Can't win. Your struggles are in vain. Okay, Pascal. There. You dropping frames? Or is it just your stream? Um uh, second check. I am dropping frames. Just a second. Let me check. Oh. I didn't have my... Uh, that's the first time somebody knows dropping frames. <laughs> but anyway, the problem should be solved here in a second. Refresh your browsers. Refresh your browsers. You may be behind in time by a little bit. Again, backup software was running. I didn't realize it was. I forgot to turn it off this morning. Before the stream. Yeah, you will be... Because when the, the backup software kicks in, it, it eats up all my upload speeds. <laughs> so. It's funny how that works.
but it's still dropping for some reason. Why the hell is it still dropping? Frames, it shouldn't be. Let's see if this fix. I didn't change anything. Looks like it might have stopped. So Pascal, if you want to stand, turn aside there. Avalar, you know you want to go face to face with this game thing, because that's safe. Magenta. We're not going to stop playing Fortnite. Yes, we'll come back for a show. Nikki on Netflix? They're both sleeping. You guys are blaming them for something they have. they're not even doing. So, oh, he's got friends in there, too. This is going to go well. So, this is a boss fight, and he's got lots of friends everywhere. Okay, go. So Pascal. Front line. Not here. Front line isn't as big as I was really hoping it would be, but. The dogs are sleeping, but Mrs. G must be on the shopping channel. She, Mrs. Gimpy went to go work out, so she's not here either. Efficiency, dodge, and dodge reduction. So jumped up there. Back line, or sorry, the rear. More damage, more penetration, increased hit chance. So. Up there. Posture check. There's no posture checks. There's no such thing as a posture check here. Don't know what you're thinking. Okay, so uh, we didn't do a back line. Cover efficiency and dodge. I'm gonna put that over here. There are slouch away channels, yes. Slouches. All slouches. So what's this building? Choose this one of the combat for one round. All enemies in an area are forced to reveal successful dodge. A parry test against attack and any enemies that suffer damage and are left with less than 10 wounds immediately die. And do we get to use that? Every round. So, here. Ruin your spine if you still got one. There you go. Wait, right, next for the next attack against a target affected by an exploit, that target's cover efficiency will reduce. This attack will have better chance to hit. And then we have what is it? Joint analysis. 
their allies attacks will remove exploits and deal plus one damage. This is what we put exploits on, oh, right? Yes. So, join analysis. Okay, we're all beat up too, aren't we? And he for it, for that, parried that. Great. It's gonna go. Yeah, Abelard. Yeah, see, this isn't gonna go well. If I Gale Digger, it should be at 15. This is going to be a really bad fight. Where are my sworn enemy? At your beck and call. Bad. In his face. And watch him whiff. Victory is imminent. Or not. Oh, he attacks back. That's what this says. <laughs> so. Avalar parried despite melee superiority. So he hit him. Toughness resistance failed, so he's bleeding and he's slow. Impact damage to Pascal. Because you know, it's every time we hit, he, get, he attacks back, which is like it's an Apple or Pascal. Look at that! So, can I keep him as a pet? I think he's going to try to keep us as pet food. I will do like you. It will be done. Very gentle. Chance of her shooting Abelard in the back. Well, less because he's off to the side. So let's do that. As the commands, I act. Set him on fire. Not sure where the fire came from, but it's there. Deal with the servitor that's right here. That's nice. So, sworn enemy. More melee damage. I won't object to you. Take less damage from damage. Stupid veil degradation. Naturally. Like how they hit back. Let's see to it. There. I healed a little bit. Nasia. Once more resolve. He does. Me. If you insist, your captain. Leadership thing. Hey, Grim, welcome back. Demon engine? Sure. I'm not accustomed to being boarded around. Me too. Me either. So. 
Treat him as much as we can. Me? If you insist, you will him. That's four damage. I am a navigator, not a servitor. Still fine, right? Who is the command for Avalar? Isn't this a job for the serfs? This need actual demons now. Oh, we can we can arrange that too. Uh -oh. I can make it. So this is fair. So he just oh he just knocked him back. Almost took him out though. Almost took her out too. Missed Avalar. So goopy. He looks like he's on fire. Make sure he's always burning. See him? Oh, I need no guidance. Avalar. Two action points. That's two. So this one is. It will cause the target to make the toughness of this stuff. Please don't mess. See, this is BS that he like, hits back all the time. Everybody hits in melee range. And she's down. See, that's why this fight's BS. That's why this fight's BS. Last two points left. Or is it his turn? Target attacks were going well, oh, they get one AP once we go around. So. It will be done. Swear it. Oh, we can inspire Apollar. Let's do that. Our reserve next attack. Uh, he'll attack this round. Yeah, this is nice. Down to 11 health. It seems odd. Um, also, there's a dodge parry test against all attacks. Suffers damage and are left with less than 10 wounds and immediately dies. So, down. Okay, so much for that. Pain and beauty go hand in hand. I do. We don't miss this guy. It will be done. So you don't take any damage from that BS. What's this? Daring Breach. Meteor restores all AP and gains moment points at the end of the turn. Does not limit on melee weapon attacks this turn. So this will give him three attacks if necessary. Oh look, this area effect is brutal strike. Victory is imminent. Okay, so that thing's down. Oh, look, he still has attacks. It will be done. Crush this one. 
Indeed. <laughs> Reduced to dust. My place is at the fall. And still swim. At your beck and This is good, Perry. Yeah, look, he's still got. He's not using up any action points, is he? I will do my target while struck. So something's bugged. <laughs> he's attacking, but he's not using up any of his action points. At your back and forth. Each attack should be using up an action point. And so that's how I understand how it's supposed to work, but that's not working the way it's supposed to. That's a bug of some kind. So we just have box skulls left. So a bug in my favor for a change. Yeah, I'm gonna go with bug. I've seen worse battles than this in my time. Me too. Let's see if works with the gun. It's gonna work with the gun too. Victory is imminent. Ah, the gun is actually... Okay, so that's the way it's supposed to work. So, something to do with the melee. It was uh, not eating up action points like it should have been. Hey, Argenta. Think you can shoot that thing from here? man's mutilated body is racked by a wave after wave of convulsions. Evil, that was evil incarnate. Evil, the corruption of what watches us day and night. Suddenly the man raises his head and looks you straight in the eye. You have banished the evil. You tried to warn me, but I was deaf. The ship, uh, Kiava Gamma, it, it followed us from there. Kiava Gamma, is that where your ship is from? Yes, the man whispers, the ship and the planet. The traitors among our brethren, tormenting the sacred mechanisms, letting corruption into their systems. They turn that which is holy into the unholy, and they set these new twisted machines on us. They're tech comrades. We managed to flee, but one of the monsters found its way onto the ship. You think? A tear appears at the corner of his eye. He thrashes frantically in the mess of wires piercing his body. We fought. We cut off one module after another as one cuts away rotting flesh, but it followed. Its invisible influence, the corruption it, it exuded, it claimed us one by one. The crew were merely humans of flesh and blood. They were so weak. They succumbed so easily. We could not save them from evil, and so we gave the ship to the darkness among the stars. But the darkness came for us, too. In this last module, where we intended to make our last stand, then I sacrificed myself. I became a filter. A stopper against the corruption emanating from the machine. I succumbed. The corruption came from for our souls, the corruption of Kiava Gamma, traitors. With the last of his efforts, he rasped. The fabricator censor. It is all that uh, it all started with him. He was the one who let this taint into the sacred code. He was the one who doomed our brethren. He was the one who spawned the steel monstrosities in the furnace of our pl planet. Rest in peace, you will be avenged. You have succumbed to chaos and paid for your weakness. Rest in peace, you will be avenged. I was a part of the great force that drives the universe. I do not fear the cold of death. A wheezing breath escapes the man's chest, then his eyes close. Hey, zombie, welcome back. Just in time to watch somebody die. <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Ah, oh, look, he slumped over and everything. Okay, so I actually won. I didn't think I was going to win that fight. That thing's literally a monster. Intriguing. What's this? Diagnoster. Grants plus 15 Medicaid. Reflect. John. Yeah, 
Headhunter light. No. The flak chest plate, that's what it is. So it's medium armor. Beyonce. Predictable. Shell, the empty shell of the demon engine it was this creation, a horrifying mix of real space technologies and the deranged powers of the warp that uh, disrupted the ship's systems and twisted the tech priest's minds. Plus 15 to that. Okay, so Gimpy's got that one. Some bonus commerce, so don't ditch that. Awareness bonus. So 45. Oh, and then he's getting more dodge from his uh, armor because of the awareness. So let's don't lose that. So somebody with decent, he's got third. Got his knuckle guards. And... No. He wants to be the healer ish person. Request denied. You? He's a Medicaid. This is the number of wounds restored by medikits and allows you the use of higher quality medkits. Okay. Medikits, sorry. They're not medkits, they're medikits. Reduces your health by 10%, yet increases critical hit chance by three times your toughness bonus percentage. We don't want you to be more squishy. Fifty-one. So that would drop him down by five points to forty-six, right? But his critical hit chance will increase by three times his toughness bonus, which would be six. So by eighteen percent crit chance. Increases, that's pretty big. Hmm. Is that worth the health loss? Find out. Here is at ninety five percent. Dodge. That's dodge. This is what dodge reduction. Well, oh, see how that works. Now we can finally get out of here, I think. How many traps are going to reappear? Off of this show. Uncover my path. Okay, so once we're done here, that Hulk. I don't know where we're going. That's right, Desert Rule set up a little mine, an adamantine mine there. Us. So we're roaming around the star system that we're exploring, scanning planets, putting down mining or mining rigs if necessary in this one. I've seen a planet burn once before. Uh, Kassar Maga Exterminatus was invoked, and incendiary cy cyclonic torpedoes were deployed. The world burned for several months until there was nothing but ash. This one? There's nothing on this planet to do. It's a burning world. In the scan. Gas giant, maybe? Not explained. Trophies. Plasma batteries.
So smuggler's cash or provisions. Let's go provisions first. Do you want to set up an extractum to produce provisions? Oh, do I? Provisions five. Upper right hand corner. Sure. Down to two extract dumps. Oh, look, free stuff. Grenades, crack grenades, medikits, stuff. Free stuff. You already told me that. I want to make sure there's nothing else. I forgot to check to something else. Okay, good. So next we go back out this way. So, where should we go? Chart new routes. Over there. It's an uncharted system. Reduce route difficulty on safe. Reduce safe route difficulty safe. Oh, that's to use uh, these points down at the middle. So, navigator's insight. Make it a safe travel. Here we go. Mission to report, Lord Captain. I keep receiving messages about strange behaviors in certain ship systems. All decks report to uncurrent trouble, opening and closing of doors, gates, and airlocks. They behave erratically and do not obey the operator's commands. Regrettably, this has led to casualties among, among the crew. Tech priests have explained that these phenomena are being caused by the machine spirits' uh, irritability and have spent hours chanting litanies to soothe their anger. Unfortunately, many crew members were badly injured before their prayers could stabilize the systems. What are you going to do? Make more crew members. No data on the system. Visit it. Oh, look at all the stuff. Unknown ships. Unknown ships. Look, we're right there. Let's go see who the unknown ships are. be lasers being shot at us of some kind. Three on one? This is fair. I would like to have a turn. So, can't shoot him. Good turn around. Shoot you first, just because you have the audacity to shoot us. Then this poor guy. Send them into the cold, boys. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Yeah, well, Macro cannons annihilate them. Yeah, these asteroids are getting them away. Let's 
restart the shields and restart the shields. The shields will be restored at the start of the flagship's next turn. Rewriting the power of the shields reduces the flagship speed and fire range by two for the next turn, for its next turn. So he's moving that way. You get blown up in space. Is it? Is the warranty void? Yes, very much is it. It is voided. Hey, where's our supreme commander? Why isn't our supreme commander where he's supposed to be? What the hell? Ship must reach one. Okay, fine. That's hurting. That's in range, that's in range, so shoot you. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Of course it didn't quite kill him. Macro cannons annihilate them. Uh, oh, it is out of range. So this is our right side, so make sure you want to turn this way. Let him hit our left side instead. And that way, he'll get him. He'll, he has to move closer to us for the most part, right? Or he just may run too, because, you know, chicken. Yeah, this asteroid is friggin' annoying. Unleash the swarm of macro cannons. Shields. What are shields? Yeah, that's too close. Asteroid is pretty cool. It's your favorite. It's your favorite ship. It's OP. Let destruction pull forth. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Who shields work exactly in this? I gotta keep moving. Fine. Steer us to our target. Oh, probably should have went to the right. Oh well, doesn't matter. We're gonna kill him. If we catch him. Yeah, I don't understand how shields are working, because they don't seem to stop a whole lot. Maneuvers. Then sail me closer so that I can hit them with my sword. And now, emblazon our path. Just for fun. Did I 
Place your weapons on the plot to chosen enemy within an area on fire. Let's tell you what they do. I'm generally bound on the sides. Fired back cannons launch several salvos against the same target. That doesn't really help me. Does that make the, them more effective against shields or armor? Or does it matter? I think it matters, does it? Lest the incandescent <laughs> your enemies. I have missed this feeling. Trophies. So, can be equipped. Short range broadside macro cannons which fire four shots, dealing 20 damage per shot. Versus the two that we currently have installed, which are shortened versions. They only fire two shots, dealing 21 damage per shot. So, upgrade. And holy ambulance. Oh, look, upgrade. So that's where we're looking. Oh, it actually changes the look. Did it change the look? It did. It does change. Sort of. Come on, you pansy, get back in there and fight. Oh, this one's better than we currently have. Rides 13 speed along a low, along with low acceleration and braking. Oh, and the other one's strong acceleration and braking. Hmm. Don't move as fast, but brake fat better, accelerate better. Hmm. Upgrade the hull. Current upgrade level is one. Scrap required for next upgrade level, 65. Currently have 104. Upgrade the ram, which we haven't used. So, upgrade the hull. 39 scrap left. Still need to repair. 10 scrap for that. So that's done. And our ship actually leveled up, it looks like. So, swing run. The flagship flies in a straight line, making a full U turn at the end of its movement. Cool down one to three rounds, random. Torpedo control. Oh, these are locked. Where do you have this one? I didn't see it. Torpedo control. Gives control of the nearest torpedo. Torpedo salvo, granting it. We don't have torpedoes, so that doesn't work. Reinforce the shields. Chosen sector of the flagship void ship is reinforced until it suffers damage. For sector has an increased chance of absorbing energy attacks and loses only half of its strength when absorbing damage. So, shields absorb energy? Is that how it's supposed to work? New heading. While moving, the flagship may make its next turn at 90 degrees instead of the usual 45. Work wave. Closed. Of the Amateurium can cause an enemy ship to immediately turn 45 or 90 degrees, depending on the ship's maneuverability. If the enemy ship has suffered hull damage, this abrupt turn additionally deals damage equal to of the ship's, uh, sorry, from 15 to 20 percent of the ship's missing hull for a 45 degree turn and deals that damage twice for a 90 degree turn. Does not affect ships larger than cruisers. Cool down one or three turns around. Arc Augury. Flagship's next shot gains plus two extra range. Hmm. I'm thinking reinforcing the shields. Ta -da. Oh, we get another one? Oh, we get two abilities. So. Next turn at 9 degrees. 
uh, so tighter turns, right? Shift to immediately turn. And they take damage by being forced to turn. Let's do that one. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Supreme Commander is gimpy, but it wasn't he wasn't the Supreme Commander for some reason. Torpedo control, we don't have torpedoes. Let's reinforce the shields. Yeah, because Gimpy was, for some reason, wasn't a, the, the Supreme Commander in that last fight. Don't know why. Should have been, but he wasn't. Oh, well. Okay, we got some planets to explore. Let's do... Go down that way, come up around to that one. Begin the scan. Natural accumulation of irregularities on a solid planetary surface has been detected. Probability of occurrence of natural materials is high. Plasteel 7. I have two mine things left. We have the top. So, no people. Provisions 5. Chemicals none. Plasteel's already at 5. Mechanism. So, we have adamantine. Profit factor. So I think we'll hold off on that. I mean, it'd be better to have this than the five, but we only have two more extractums to use, so we'll hold off on that one. Desert world added to the worlds of the expanse. So is this something we could colonize? Why would we though? There's no resources. Here either. Burning world. Oh, it looks like it might be a little burned out. Or not, we're going right into a fight, aren't we? Stars tremble, Empyrean awakens. Now, Derry. Shadow Hunter. Two of them. Enemy torpedoes. The enemy has launched torpedoes. However, you can destroy them before they reach you. Torpedoes are always fired in salvos, and they do not have a shield or hull integrity. Every attack that hits a salvo destroys one torpedo per shot. From here on out, you may encounter clusters of small ships that follow the same rules in combat as torpedoes. Okay, then. So it's... You on one, and they've got torpedoes. And once again, Gimpy is not here. We'd have to swing run. And, well, he's not showing up here, but we can do the maneuver at least. You know, murdering time. Yes, hopefully. It's going to be un unelfy. It's definitely going to be unelfy. Steer us to our target. If this 
eviscerate them. Mist? What's this mist stuff? Unleash the storm of micro cannons. Wow, that was great. Apparently, we don't know how to shoot stuff anymore. Let destruction pour forth. This is stupid. Now that hit. Better make you turn. That made him take some damage there. Hopefully we will hit him. Let the Empyrean guide us. Must belong to somebody. Welcome to Wednesday. Unleash the storm of macro cannons. Wow, that's just impressive, isn't it? It suffers damage. Let's do left side. Sorry. Disappointment speeds, it looks like. Ramming speed? Well. Hoping that torpedo can't make that turn. I bet it can, but. Aw. Oh, almost hit his friend there. He's gonna be in range or something. Only one though, looks like. The torpedoes have to catch me. Send them into the void. Look, he didn't make it. Shields on the front. So torpedoes only live for so long. So as long as you can avoid. Hey, bag of water. It is time to take a break. Not yet. Go stretch your legs. More torpedoes. Your next break is in one hour. Let the incandescent beams scorch our enemies. That's not good. Range there, range there. So. Unleash our wrath upon my enemies. Yeah, that hits. Let destruction pour forth. Ta-da. So, torpedoes that we have to dodge. Macro cannons, annihilate them. So torpedoes are going that direction, so we just go this direction. Steer us to our target. Well, we don't. Do we have to avoid them for four turns, or how many turns it takes? Apparently, they can't catch us now. Emblazon our path. No 
problem. So, wraith bone fragments times two, so that's uh, scrap, right? Yeah, scrap. Not sure that fight was worth it. We didn't take any damage, so no big deal. Okay, let's scan this one. What is this? Monastery of the Order of the Hammer. Not explored. Uh, save. Save. But Captain, we've received a transmission from Foulstone. It was sent by members of the Order of the Hammer, votaries of St. Canadius. Cagnat Cagnatius? Uh, whose monastery is the only settlement on the planet. Or rather, it used to be. Some time ago, a, tra some time ago, a transport vessel, the Navica, Unloaded several thousand refugees from a planet belonging to Rogue Trader Winterscale. The Order of the Hammer has judged uh, the invasion to be an act of aggression and is asking for your leadership's protection. We will not abandon people of faith of Nistrans. Prepare a landing party and my shuttle. I'm taking the monastery under my protection. Those people are victims, not invaders. Prepare my shuttle. I shall uh, heed it. Head to the planet and resolve this conflict. It's no interest to me. Some time ago, a transport vessel, the Nabika, unloaded several thousand refugees from a planet belonging to Rogue Trader Winter Scale. Hammers judged this invasion to be an act of aggression. Two of our victims on invaders. Grammar shuttle. As it pleases your lordship. Oh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. Let's take a break. <laughs> Because that's a lot of reading. So I need to get up, stretch my legs, get some water. I'll be back in a few minutes. And uh, when we get back, we will do the choose your own adventure, see how it goes. So, anyway, be back shortly. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the dog video.